Oh, get out of here. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Wah, wah, wah. Good afternoon. This is Deb Amlin for the New York Times, and welcome back to Heroes, Comedy Heroes. Yeah. Absolutely. Here's how magicians talk. Wow. That's what we're doing. one of those, Elaine. Oh. Stay over. Wow. We are going to be feeding Sam sugar uh, and see how much it actually takes for him to lose his ability to solve. Um, right. This is science. We're doing this for science, Sam. Good afternoon, this is Deb Amlin for the New York Times and welcome back to Crosswords Live. I'm here with uh, one of my uh, colleagues, Goran Sporkin Marola, who uh, is a pixel ma magician by trade. He's one of our software engineers and uh, he's going to help us solve Bruce Hates, uh, I believe 46th puzzle, 56th puzzle. I'm wow, that's amazing. Uh, I'm told that uh, by our intrepid producer Isaac that uh, this is Bruce's forty. Not only is this Bruce's forty-sixth puzzle, boy, that's a tongue twister, but fifty-sixth puzzle. I thank you. I haven't had lunch yet, um, so just watch. If I keel over, it's just that my blood sugar crashed. Um, <laughs> The, that he has almost hit for the cycle, which means that he's had a puzzle for every day of the week. Now I say almost because he has not ha yet had a Saturday puzzle in the New York Times. He's had all the other days. Um, but so we're hoping to see him uh, hit for the cycle soon. Anyway, hello, Goran, how are you? I'm good, thank you, hi, Deb. Welcome to Crosswords Live. Now, um, are you a crossword solver? I am. Uh, I cannot attest to my ability, but I am a solver. <laughs> That's okay. You know what? This is one of those things, and I tell this to all the newer solvers who watch, this is one of those uh, pastimes that you just have to keep doing to get better at. So we're going to try that today. Now, we have an interesting uh, thing neither of us have actually done this puzzle right you That's have not nice. solved it i have not solved it generally on thursdays i will have solved the puzzle because which is our other stream day because uh i write that column uh today's column was written by our fabulous rachel faby uh who is our monday through wednesday columnist and uh i did not get a chance to solve this one so this should be interesting um, it's a Monday though, so it should be somewhat gentle and straightforward. There's not probably not going to be a lot of very tricky clues or misdirected clues, which is why we always tell people to start on a Monday. Now, Goran, how did you get started solving? Have you been solving for a while? Um, so I had a, it was very interesting. So when I was growing up, my grandmother would get um, these like back in, in former Yugoslavia, that they, she would get these magazines that were just filled with crossword puzzles. I think they came out like every week or something like that. And she mm -hmm. would, you know, go through the whole thing. And so I would always like help her solve as she as she did that. Um, and then when we moved to the US, you know, English as a second language makes it a little bit harder to solve some of the crosswords. So I, I took a break. Uh, I would occasionally solve with my parents when we would visit um, her, my grandmother. Um, and then when I got the job here is when I really like got back into, uh, you know, picking it up and, um, and trying out the Mondays and then, uh, going on, going on with that. Um, my husband and I really got into it. So well, that's, that's, that's wonderful. how I started so you've solved yeah. together, which is, I think is very cool. That's yeah. why I like having a guest here. Um, now, before we get started though, here's a question that's been on my mind. How did you get such a terrific job at the New York Times? I mean, you get to help program and make the games. I was very lucky. Um, I, at the, the company I worked at previously, um, I, you know, that I was working on a product for a while and then they, uh, you know, it was done essentially. And I got moved to a different team and it was a couple of years in. So I was like, you know, let me. Let me see what's out there. Like this seems like the universe telling me to maybe try something new. Mm -hmm. um, and I had actually applied for the Times 
when I first got out of school um, and I did not get that job. Um, and so I was like, you know what, why not just see what's available? And there just happened to be an opening for an iOS developer on the games team. Oh. Um, and the extra funny thing is that the person who had left um, that I was uh, taking the opening of was one of my coworkers for my first ever job. Oh, yeah. wow. <laughs> so. and it's, it's a very small world, I guess. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, well, we're very glad that you're here and thank you for all the contributions you make to our iOS app. I know that uh, people love solving on it. Uh, quite a few of our solvers solve in iOS. I do too. Um, <clears throat> I think we should probably get started. How do you normally get started uh, solving the New York Times crossword? Um, I just kind of go through it, uh, you know, tab over. Uh, I try to go like, uh, I don't know, I, I, I try to not uh, do all the do all the horizontals first. I try to resist the temptation of, of what going around, but you know, it, sometimes it happens. Okay, so you don't you don't necessarily start at one across. You kind of just do you look for the ones that you definitely know. Uh, yeah, if I'm solving mm -hmm. on uh, the computer, which I do sometimes, I'll look because it's much easier to see all the clues yeah. like laid out like that. On on the iPhone, I just kind of tap through uh, the, the little right button on there. Okay. Well, you know what? We Let's just dive in at one across. The molten rock in a volcano. Uh, it's five letters, so it's not it's not lava. Do you know what yeah. that would be? Um, is it uh, magma? I think it would be. And let's right. let's check it at one down. Uh, let's see. Be prepared for Boy Scouts. What is be prepared for the Boy Scouts? Uh, oh, is it their their motto? It is. Very good. Look right. at you. You're, right. you're doing right. great. Getting there. Getting there. <laughs> <laughs> you're in. Absolutely. <laughs> Mohammed uh, Essan Saeed is with us and agrees on magma. All right. Um, you, let's Mohammed. see. Uh, what else have we got here? Three down. That's a nice long one. You were close with that response. Ooh, that's that's a toughie. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, not yet. Although I will say that it's definitely going to be a verbalization because if you see the clue at three down, mm -hmm. um, it's in quotation marks. And do you know what that means? What is the clue asking of you? Um, is it like a different way of like something you might say, like a phrase you might say that indicates this? You were close with that response. Exactly. The the clue in the quote in quotes, uh, as long as it's not a title or anything, uh, is a verbalization, and um, the clue is asking you for a similar verbalization that means the same thing. Valeria Silvestri is with us, and she's in on uh, Italian time, so she's cooking again. I'm guessing dinner. Uh, you'll have to let us know what what's for dinner, Valeria. Um, <laughs> let's see. Well, maybe 15 across. Let's check 15 across. Native Americans originally of the plains. Okay. Now this one is probably. I I think I know what this is going to be, and there are two two ways that I know this. Number one is the clue itself is plural, Native Americans. So I could drop I an see. S in at the end. Mm -hmm. You know, that's just an, it doesn't work 100% of the time, but by and large, the clue, the answer has to match the clue. So if it's a plural in the clue, it's going to be a plural in the answer. Now, we have a running joke here on Crosswords Live, at least on Mondays, that everything that appears quite often is the official whatever uh, mm -hmm. of the New York Times crossword. <laughs> and this is probably going to be Otoe's because the Otoe is comes up quite a lot because of all those yummy vowels. So they are <laughs> the uh, official First Nation of the New York Times crossword. Got it. Got it. OK, okay. I like that. And Crossword Crystal is with us and agrees on Otoe's. Hi, Crystal. Um, let's see, battling. Um, I don't know. I would think attack, but that's too long. Oh, my goodness. Well, Valeria, if you if you want to drool a little bit, uh, <laughs> is making a wonderful fish with tomato sauce, potatoes, olives, and capers. 
Oh, man. Ooh, man. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's just lunchtime Chris, here, so. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Crossword Crystal says, I always thought that was pronounced O-toes. Now I know. <laughs> You know, I'm I'm guessing myself, but I just based on what I know about First Nation languages, I'm guessing that it's pronounced Otoe. Um, Muhammad Esan Said says four down is at war. Oh, I'm sorry, two down. two down. Two down. Thank you. Yeah. Those two uh, word ones always trip me up. Yeah, they they're they're not that easy. Self referential in modern lingo. Is that a meme? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Uh, Let's see. What What is 18 across? Oh, there I did it. Would be ta-da. Oh, uh, okay. I think I know four down now. You do? Yeah. Is it meta? Could, yeah, I think so. Okay. And right. campfire waste? Um, ash. Very good. All right, so now we have at 18 across, I, usually the longer across entries on a Monday are going to be where the theme lies. Um, Siskel and Ebert and the movies catchphrase. Oh man, this, I have you remember? This, yeah, I, the, well, I don't know which one it, it is, but uh, it's two thumbs at least. And then I don't know if it's up or down. Okay. Up, well, up. <laughs> yeah, we would have it'd have to be up unless yeah. Rebus, which you generally won't see on a Monday. Sure. But two <laughs> thumbs up, absolutely. So we've got a nice catchphrase in there. Um, let's see. Alternative to dot com and edu is oh dot org. Dot org. There you go. See, that's what we mean by a gimme. You know, something that you're like, oh, of course I know that. Course, and those yeah, are yeah. always going to be in the puzzles, particularly a lot on Mondays, because the, the whole goal is to lead you from the clue to the answer in as straight a line as possible. Uh, you were, oh, do, does this help a little bit with three down? You were close with that response. Um, oh, good guess. Very good. Nice, that buys us a lot of real estate. <laughs> um, and uh, as always, if you are watching and you would like to put your guesses in the comments, please do. It's okay if, if you're not correct. We do not judge here. Um, the whole point is to try to figure it out. That's what makes it a puzzle. Um, okay, so let's move on. Where would you like to go now, Goran? Um... <laughs> Yeah, why don't we keep going down? Um, okay. Sorry, by down, I mean, yeah, physically on the puzzle. So okay. if you want to do- 60s um, drug debt. Oh, have debts. Uh, yeah, that's oh, present tense. Uh, oh? Yes, very good. Very good. Uh, let's see what else. Vowel sound heard twice in true blue. I love these clues because it's really hard Anyway, I'm not going to say anything. Go ahead. Do you... I, I was going to say these always trip me up because I never know how to write out the like the, the vocalization of it. Yeah. Uh, well, is it generally when we're when you see something like that, you have to take a guess about whether or not the sound they're looking for is a long or a short vowel. Mm -hmm. So, what is the sound that you hear twice in true blue? Um, so is it the like ooh, like the yeah. long, elongated ooh? Yes. So it would be long U. Ah. ah is that, okay. Okay. That's, yeah, yeah. That's what we mean by the aha moment. That's sure. that's where you get that <laughs> shot of dopamine yeah, in your yeah, brain yeah. and say, "Wow, I like solving crossword puzzles." <laughs> Uh, let's see. The sum of the digits of any multiple of blank is a multiple of blank. All right. See, my, I, you know, when it, I was promised there would be no math. You know, and and this is where my brain shuts down. Do you know this one, Warren? Um. There's some no. It's some uh, arithmetic curiosity. Huh. Well, maybe somebody else can help us. Yeah. Meanwhile, over in Italy, Valeria says that 37 <laughs> down is Anne. Ann Arbor. Oh, sure. Cool. Ann Arbor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Way to go, Valeria. Yeah. 
Um, let's see. Classic British sports cars. Now, that's another plural. I'm guessing the S could be in there. Uh, MGs? Maybe. I, let's, I, let's try 36 say, across. I, I drive a Subaru, so I did not, I did not know okay. sports cars. <laughs> Relatives informally. That's got to be fam, so I think I might be right. Oh, good morning, Nine Bark Outfitters. Come solve with us. We have uh, my colleague, Gorin Spork and Marola with us. And Gorin is one of the software engineers on the games team. He works on our iOS app. Uh, military muscle. Hmm. Not sure about that one. Yeah. But, oh, we have another catchphrase. Oh. Now, do you remember the show or did you ever see the show Columbo? I, I don't I haven't seen the show, but I do know the general catchphrase, I think. Okay. Uh, what um, was what was Colum now like this is this is where we start to separate out the generation. <laughs> and that's okay. The thing it's funny because people generally younger people complain that there's not enough for them in the puzzle and that you know the clues refer to things that are really old. And older solvers complain that they shouldn't have to know, you know, the lyrics to a rap song or sure. things that are much more modern. In this puzzle, I think that Bruce Haight straddled it fairly well he's got a little bit of stuff from the 70s and a little bit of stuff that's newer um what was colombo's catchphrase um i think it's uh he would go like uh just one more thing just one more thing wow I like detective shows. So. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Peter Falk was just brilliant. He is, I've, I always loved him. Uh, let's see. So we've got two catchphrases here, two thumbs up and just one more thing. Huh. Can we go to, um, I'm sorry, uh, 32 down? That's an interesting three letters with a J in the middle on the left side. Ooh, record spinners in brief. Now you've- DJ? Oh, well, DJs? you've learned DJs, right? Yeah, yeah. And it because it's a plural, so a plural in the clue is a plural in the that answer. Makes sense. That's and a that's, really good tip. <laughs> honestly, I think you know there are a lot of tips like that. There is a lot of predictability in crossword clues and their answers. Um, the nice thing about it is that if you learn a few of these rules, like tenses have to match, plurals have to match, um foreign language clues if there's for a foreign language in the clue it means the answer has to be in that language mm -hmm. so that right away i think makes you a better solver because you can predict the form that the answer is going to be in even if you don't know the answer itself um but you did you knew it was a dj but with that rule you were able to guess why there was yep. an s at the end <clears throat> that makes sense yep Oh, and we've got Mohammed and uh, Valeria both knew um, just one more thing. And Crossword Crystal says, Columbo aired until 2003. This one crossed generations. Wow, that's wow. good to know. Because I, you know, not to date myself, but I, I watched it in the 70s, um, <laughs> even though I was a kid. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm glad to know that it ran that long. Uh, okay, where do you want to go from here? um let's try do we want to try one of the m tier places like the bottom sure. right maybe where would you like to go um sure that's 67 across seems okay good. what is the opposite of drowsy uh the awake awake let's try it okay let's see if we can check whether that's correct with our crossers fruit desserts well yeah back of a ship do you know what that one would be? Um, no, aft is the front, right? I believe so. Okay. Uh, oh, I don't know. How like about the sixty-four wood? down? Oh, uh, Matt King Cole. Yes. All right. So you know at least the A is right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Castaway's sight. Interesting. Don't know that one. But yeah, we'll, we can come back to it. Sure. You want to do one of the crossers? 
I mean, one of the across entries. Let's do it. Aged Grim character. Uh, like mm -hmm. Grimm's fairy tales, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Huh. I don't know. And the ninety nine and two ninety nine, e.g., that's interesting. I, you know, sense a maybe. A I was gonna say a trick. To, to yeah, make it you is. Think it's better than get to buy it because it's, <laughs> it's not really three dollars. It's two ninety nine. Yeah, much cheaper. Uh, many works of Edgar Allan Poe. Uh, poems. Yeah, I think so. Maybe no. Uh, yeah. We'll we'll find out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Words from one who's defeated. So we know it's it's more than one word. Right. Um, oh, I see. So it'll be it's going to be like two or three, you mean? Um, well, it could be two. Yeah, sure. because it says words. I see. Words. I see. That yeah. makes sense. Oh, and then um, I lost. Yeah, huh? which is huh? kind of fun. It's it's yeah. that's a fun <laughs> entry. <laughs> uh, let's see. Aged. Gr oh, sorry. A.G. Grimm character, huh? Still don't know. How about yeah. some of the downs there? Parisian denial. Um, is that N O N? Like yes, no. right. Uh, so uh, ill temper. Paris again. Um, <laughs> oh, is this um, is this one of the other very common ones? Ire. Right. Ire, yes, the official, the official temper of the <laughs> crossword. Um, let's see. Uh, now, Mohammed Hassan Saeed has a correction if you're willing to take it. Of course, I would love okay. to hear it. So, 67 across, he thinks is aware aware which, okay yeah, which is yeah that sure. i mean drowsy is not quite asleep drowsy yeah. suggests that you know you're not you're kind of out of it so mm -hmm, aware mm -hmm. would be a better opposite than awake although i would have guessed awake too that makes um sense. and he says that gives stern as the ship's back ah okay there you go. okay sure, nice. sure thank you for that um let's see nine bark outfitters thought it was alert Oh, let's look at that. Oh. All right. We got a couple nice. options there. Yeah. Um, who wants to be a millionaire catchphrase? Uh, hmm. Oh, I thought it was like final answer, but it doesn't. Well, let's see. It could be Isaac is taking out some of the answers, so I guess <laughs> we're wrong. <laughs> there you go. All right. All Excellent. right. That's all right. <laughs> we're we're getting there. How let's let's knock out uh was it 59 down? That looks like it's gonna be aisle. Oh no, no, no. Oh, oh, oh okay. cast away sight, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure, sure. It would be on an aisle. Yeah. Um 61 down tv monitoring agency that's got to be fcc yep yep which makes uh the crosser there crone i think aged grim character it was oh. always, which was always a crone sure sure a crone yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh what else have we got here um words from one who's defeated um, now you do have two words there, but okay, many works of, oh, Edgar Allan Poe. I know what this is now, they're tales. He wasn't oh. really a poet, he, but sure, he wrote sure, sure. these really horrifyingly spooky tales. That makes sense. Um, so how about 58 across, scoundrel? Um, maybe rat? Could uh, be rat, uh, let's see um how so 52 down words from someone mm. who's defeated i yeah, rant. I, I rant <laughs> maybe <laughs> yeah um let's see apparently we've frozen on youtube isaac sorry about that hopefully it'll uh, come back but it's, okay could be could could be on your end nine bark uh let us know when we're back 
uh, let's see, Verdi Opera. Huh. Valeria had it before. If you'd like some help. Oh, yeah, of course. I have never been to an opera, so I That's would love okay. some help. <laughs> this one, and if you, you know, the interesting thing is if you solve enough crosswords, you're going to know this. Yeah. Um, this is the official Verdi opera of the New York Times crossword. It happens to be Aida. Oh, okay. And that gives us rad, which is not really no. uh, <laughs> uh, somebody, but at uh, 60, I'm sorry, 58 across. Sorry, it's a little small. Scoundrel is a what? Um, I don't uh, bad. I mean, they are bad, I suppose. They but... <laughs> are. But you wouldn't say I bant. Can you run the alphabet? That's what I do when I'm stuck. Oh, um, let's see. I I think it's a cad. A cad? Oh, yes, I've can. never heard that before. Really? Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you hear scoundrel? I have. I have heard scoundrel. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yes. A. Uh, I guess it's not used that much anymore. But you cad was was very popular. Um. Yes, and, and uh, Isaac says, please refresh your page if the stream is frozen. It looks good on our end. Thank you for that, Isaac. Uh, Valeria is, is horrified that you've never been to an opera, but <laughs> that's okay. I'm so sorry. My husband has promised to take me, but it, then the pandemic happened. Yeah. So hopefully afterwards. <laughs> he, he's going to make up for it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so let's keep going now. We've got uh, 59 across is good. Let's see if we can get that one. Tiny bit. Uh, itty? Itty is a good guess. Let's see if we can get that versus, uh, you know. Sure. The yeah. Crossers. Okay. How about 50? Yeah. Fruit desserts. Um, well, we can throw an S in at the end. Yeah. Erts. Oh, is it tarts? It is tarts. Yeah. So okay. instead of itsy, could it be iota? Oh, okay. Yes, yes. I have seen that word in a crossword before. That makes sense. Uh, Valeria is complimenting your husband. You should know that okay. he's great <laughs> because he's going to take you to an opera. I'll pass that along. <laughs> right. Um, now, military muscle. I'm going to guess that the last word is power. Can we put that in? Huh. Okay. What kind of military muscle would be type of power? Uh, oh, um, firepower. Firepower, very good. And we've got the if one of the official seabirds of the New York Times crossword at 70 across, shorebirds or terns, T-E-R-N-S. Let's keep going. We're, we're killing this thing. The Jackie <laughs> Gleason show, a catchphrase. Now, <laughs> I, I know, I know. He was, my, he was before my time too. However... I used to watch on channel 11, which I believe is WPIX in New York, um, the Honeymooners. Sure. There were a lot of old comedies. I Love Lucy and the mm -hmm. Honeymooners when the Dick Van Dyke show. And I used to stay up way too late, uh, according to my parents, watching some of these. Um, that was does, my. Uh, does that sound? Does the honeymooners sound familiar to you? Yeah, when 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 I first came to the U.S., I watched a lot of TV to get into the American culture and honeymooners on Nick at Night, along with I Love Lucy right. or or big shows. <laughs> we didn't have Nick at Night when I was a kid, but we did have reruns on you know some of these channels that I would stay up to watch. So, what do you remember about the honey? Mooners. He he probably said it more on his variety show, which was the Jackie Gleason show, which mm. I never watched, but I understand that it was a thing. Um, do you remember what he used to say when he uh, when things would go his way? Oh, I don't know. I only remember like uh, was was he the one who was like bang zoom straight to bang the moon? Cow to, a, to the moon. Cow, to, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's that's when that was funny. Um, Nine Bark Outfitters has it if you'd like some help. Sure, I'd love some help. Okay, he says it's uh, how sweet it is. 
Oh, okay. Yep. So we've got two thumbs up, just one more thing, how sweet it is. And uh, 61 across, if we can just jump down there again. Who wants to be a millionaire catchphrase final answer? Um, we're, I don't know if this, there's something tying these together or if we're just mm. taking a trip down memory lane, but we'll find out. <laughs> what if we went to the center of the puzzle? Like 34 down, sign at the end of an entrance ramp. Uh, what would you do in your Subaru? <laughs> oh, an entrance ramp. Uh, uh, merge. Yeah, there you go. It's funny because people say, oh, I don't know how to do the crossword. You know so much more than you think you do. Those words are there. You just got to <laughs> find the right. Your brain has to go through all the files and pull out the right one. Yes. <laughs> so what is the sum of the digits of any multiple of blank is a multiple of blank. Now we've got N blank N E. What do you think that is? Is it nine? Good enough for me. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> but apparently <laughs> it's no a idea. Yeah. <laughs> this was a great clue. The fact that the Bible is the most shoplifted book in America, e.g. Now, when we have an EG clue, we're looking for a uh, category that that statement might fall into. So what category would the fact that the Bible is the most shoplifted book in America fall into? Um, we have IR oh, blank, blank, blank. Um, it's like errata or something, like, a, like trivia kind of thing. Well, um, I, I think about the fact that the book that is trying to tell you how to be a good and moral person oh. is the most shoplifted book in America. Sure, what sure, sure, sure. <laughs> Irony. <laughs> Irony. Very good. Uh, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah McLaughlin would be very, very happy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> see ya. We have another verbalization there. Oh, I'm out. Very good. Very good. And how about 34 across? Headdress for the Archbishop of Canterbury. What does an Archbishop wear on their head? Uh, I can picture it, but I do not know the name. <laughs> I, I think it's called a miter. Now, a whether miter. it's P-R-E or T-E-R is something else. Well, let's, oh, sure. <laughs> let's check the crossers. 27 down, ward off as a sword. I guess. Oh, um, Perry? Like Perry, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Perry. Um, how about, so we were right, it is R-E. Uh, 28 down, gratis. What does gratis oh, mean? Uh, free? Yeah. Very good. See, this is not so hard. There we go. There we um, go. Okay. I know see. these words. <laughs> yeah. Um, it, and I really, kudos to you for having come from another, you know, another language, another culture and picking up all this stuff. It's, it's really great that, um, I mean, you've come such a long way to be able to answer this. We have people who in other countries who are very frustrated because there's a lot of American culture in sure. crosswords, as one would expect yeah. an American crossword to have. <laughs> but, you know, because people are so interested in solving now, they are learning a lot of new things. I mean, I if I did British crosswords and they had uh, clues about soccer players or people yeah. in parliament, I'd probably have difficulty with it too. That you makes know? sense, yeah. Okay, model Kate. I don't know. Uh, oh, um, Upton? Okay. <laughs> Sure. I don't know much about models. But... That is a name I've heard. <laughs> yeah. Man. All right. So kind of Valeria is giving us a, a running play on her codfish with tomato sauce, potatoes, olives, and capers that we call a la pizzaola. I'm just, I'm going to just sit here and do it a little bit, you know. Um, okay. Groove, it's hard to get out of. 33 down. Hmm. I don't know. Lofty ambition. If you have an ambition that's lofty, what would it be? Oh, a dream. Yeah, very good. A dream. So let's go back now to 33. 
Uh, if you're in a groove that it's hard to get out of, what would that be? In a rut. You'd be in a rut. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's right. And the avenue crossers are streets. And sure. just note that because this is another matching clue. Because avenue is abbreviated in the clue, the answer also has to be abbreviated. That makes sense. Uh, let's see. Took a chair. Uh, set. Very good. Past tense in the clue, past tense in the answer. That makes sense. Manipulates. Uh, uses? Yes. Very good. Uh, burn captain. Um, oh, like Jules Verne, I guess? Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's um, uh, Nemo. Right. Exactly. And Nemo, I believe, was his last name. And we that there's the Vern is an indicator in the uh, clue. Oh, last oh, last right. name of the author means we need a last name of the character. Uh, See, I told you sense. it makes a lot of sense as long yeah. as you know that these rules exist. Sure, sure. Okay, I think we have another theme entry here. Seinfeld catchphrase. Oh, oh, I know what this one is. <laughs> what is it? I'm a big Seinfeld fan. Uh, no Me suit too. for you. <laughs> exactly. It's funny because um, it is probably one of the most famous catchphrases to come out of the series, except that it was not really a catchphrase and that it wasn't really used more than once. It was in one yeah. episode. But if you interpret catchphrase fairly loosely, it's definitely one of the best known phrases that come, came out of it. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, Mohammed agrees on dream and rut. Uh, what else have we got going on there? Oh, interplanetary craft for short. Oh, we recently learned that these are all real, according to the government. <laughs> right. <laughs> I definitely. Well, if, even if they're not, it gives us something to do, right? Yeah. Uh, 20 by the times. <laughs> exactly. 22 across group with a most wanted list. Uh, like the feds or the well, take a look at the word group oh it's a abbreviation it is um, what does that mean for the answer so it's also going to be some sort of abbreviation right um, so what group has a most wanted list oh in that case the fbi there you go good for oh. you look at you go all right <laughs> Uh, Todd Hamlin says, I originally had what's the deal for 20 oh, across. Sure. That would be, if that fit, that would be so frustrating. Oh. Um, okay, <laughs> we've got, oh, look at this. The endings of seven, six and seven down are really interesting looking. Let's try those. Gets an F on a test save. Uh, or uh, here, this is an interesting one. Tough. HS high school science course. We've got oh, bio. Um, AP bio. Very good. It Very was good. tough. It was tough. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Gets an F on a test, say. I don't know. Okay. Ones with APO addresses. That's a military thing. Oh, um, I don't know. Uh, it could be GIs, but don't write that in oh. yet. Uh, let's try some of the crossers, like six across. Opposite of tight fitting as jeans. Uh, I don't know, Jinkos. No, that's okay. <laughs> yeah, they were at, at one point. Um, like loose or it would have to be an adjective. I see, I see. Um, like the tight fitting. Sure, sure, sure. Um, I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Something okay. Else. Uh, let's see. Maybe maybe we have something wrong. It's hard to tell. How about uh, sixteen across? State one's views. Hmm. Oh, uh, is it opine? Could be. Very good. Um, now, if you let's go back to five down. Well, I'm sorry, six down. Now that you have those letters, if you get an F on a test, what have you done? You you bombed it. Yes. That makes sense. <laughs> um, 
Okay, ones with APO addresses. I think I'm right. Yeah. I think it is. Yeah, too nice. that makes sense. Yeah. And how about nine down? Little uh, beast. Well, I don't know. Is that like a hog or something? Uh, well, matter. you know, a wildebeest is related to the animal in the answer. And the type of genes we're looking for at six across. Oh, baggy. Okay. Baggy. Very good. Yeah. So what's what's canoe with you, Goran? <laughs> um, sorry about that. And the that slangy, like. yeah, the slangy affirmative is yep. That makes sense. Yeah, uh, Valeria says bravo, Goran. So we're <laughs> for you in the comments. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> uh, let's see. I guess you're not a baggy jeans wearer. That's no, that was the yeah. whole thing, and I didn't enjoy <laughs> that that fad no. at all. Uh, where do you want to go now? Uh, sure. Let's see. Let's see uh, <laughs> what uh, this one is. What okay. aspirin helps to alleviate um oh an ache very good do you know this stuff how hmm. about 41 down sleuths in old slang this is a toughie a lot of people i don't even know where this came from yeah i don't um, know it comes up in crosswords though so it's worth committing to memory sure 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 let's try the crosser brings in as a salary Earns. Very good. So the answer is tex. I don't know huh. what that's from or why. Um, sure. You know, I, I believe it. <laughs> yeah. Now, the interesting thing, I can just tell you the interesting thing about 45 across earns is on a Monday, you will have that little bit of help at the end of the clue brings in as a salary. Later mm -hmm. in the week, that would drop off and you would just have brings in and you will you would have to determine whether it's something you physically bring in sure. or yeah. it brings in as an earned. So That's let's, interesting. let's all say let's all have a moment of thankfulness for the Monday puzzle and the extra <laughs> little bits of help. <laughs> um, Luke 26 is saying that he thinks Tex is short for detective. Oh. I okay. think you're probably right. Tex. Sure. What, yeah. It's, so, it, it's weird that they took the tech. The last part. Yeah. 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 Uh, let's see. Okay. And uh, uh, <laughs> Sid, Sid Sivakumar is with us. He's a New York Times constructor and says, if I remember from my research, it comes from detective and crossword crystal says it's short for detective. So I have been uh -huh. schooled and, um, <laughs> and Sid says also, hi, on a Monday, love to see you on early in the week. Oh, thank you, Sid. It's good to <laughs> see you too. Sid just hosted a wonderful uh, tournament, crossword tournament called Lala Pazula with some of our <laughs> friends. And That's it's lovely. the most fun you could absolutely have on a Saturday in August. If, if you want to, uh, not just to compete, but if you want to have a lot of fun, sign up for it next year. It's sure. really terrific. Um, and Sid, if you're, if you enjoy seeing us on a Monday, you have to come on and be a guest solver one day. Um, so yes, tex is probably uh, from the middle of the word detective, tech, and uh, I will never ever forget that. Yeah, <laughs> same. <laughs> uh, let's see, where are we going now? Oh, is suspended. Um, I don't know. Shaquille uh, of the NBA. Oh, O'Neal. There you go. You, you don't really even have to be into sports to know that your your brain just supplies the information. It's almost sure. like a fill in the blank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, surprisingly impressive. Um, I don't know, wowing or um. Uh, oh well, this is the W is making me think of that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. How about a battery terminal? Um. What fits in there? battery terminal like uh, I've got know. the plus and the minus but they're called something else 
um, no, some kind of notes. Yeah. Okay. Well, we can come back to the first. Sure. Part. Um, that's what I suggest. Now, this '60s drug dose. Not that I would know. That's <laughs> two words. That's probably going to be LSD tab, and that's yep, really that's interesting because <laughs> people expect in a crossword that you're going to see a lot of vowel consonant vowel consonant because it's generally the way words work mm -hmm. in english but look at all those consonants there and yeah. crossing it the wsw of how sweet it is that's that's what we would call pretty crunchy <laughs> in a, in a, in a crossword <laughs> puzzle um let's see mohammed says uh 49 down is hangs is suspended okay. oh sure yeah like yeah. hanging a picture frame or something like that yeah yeah that makes absolutely. sense absolutely um we've got pond amphibian she turned me into a newt yeah uh, <laughs> i got better <laughs> there you go uh surprisingly oh uh largest city i'm pick 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 one nice. <laughs> Thank you. that's all right uh largest city in the palestinian state gaza yeah we had we had some um comments on on wordplay today that um you know it whether some whether palestine is actually a state or not i'm not going to get into it i think that's a matter uh of uh politics but research online refers to it as a state so let's move on from there um how about that wow entry Oh, wow. Wowza. 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 There you go. <laughs> okay. Um, we've got, yeah, people are agreeing on anode, which is the, uh, anode. right. And a cathode, which would be the opposite. Sure, side. sure, sure. Um, sure. let's see, let's move on. Lou, we only have one little corner left. Come on, let's bring this home. So, all right. Help. Um, SOS. Yes, very good. Uh, break down grammatically. No, uh, parse. Very good. You parse we, a sentence and you probably do that in parse all sorts too. of code. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, my son is a developer also, so I, uh, I, I know all about that. Nice. Uh, <laughs> harsh as a storm or criticism. Hmm. We just had a days. we just had a storm like this last night. Yeah. <laughs> um, each and every. Oh, very good, very good. Typographical flourish. Um. Oh, well, we deal with fonts a lot in the crossword. So, uh, Sarah. Very good. Now we have some interesting <clears throat> comments here from Woder Van Dyke. Uh, they say newt, toad, or frog all work for a pond amphibian until you get to the crossings. That's no, right. Sure. <laughs> you know, it's it's oh, funny yeah, when they say, four. you know, isn't a toad or a frog a pond amphibian? The answer, of course, is yes, except that the one that we're looking for in this puzzle is a newt, and you get that from the crossings. Mm -hmm. um, also, why doesn't the clue for SOS have to be abbreviated? Um, well, I guess it's because we're looking for a verbalization and most people would say SOS, um, rather than whatever it is SOS stands for, save our skin. I don't know, uh -huh. but, um, so, uh, it's, it, even though it is an initialism, it's not really counted as one here because um, we wouldn't say the whole thing. We would say SOS, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Now, Mohammed Esan Saeed has 11 down, if you'd like some help. Uh, yeah, I would love some help. Okay. Uh, that would be severe, a severe storm. Oh, or severe, severe storms. Storm. That makes yeah. sense. That makes sense. And let's see, Nintendo antagonist with a W on his cap. Oh. My, my a crossword <laughs> after my own heart. Uh, That's right. War, Wario, Wario. Right. Yep. Yeah. Wario. And see, there's something for everybody in the crossword. Even <laughs> if you think 
even if you think, wow, how am I supposed to know, you know, what, what Jackie Gleason said, I wasn't around for that. Y you know, for every how sweet it is, you've got a warrior. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, let's see. And uh, Sid Sivakumar says, agree with Deb. That's my experience too. Other stuff like that is ATM, VCR, anything that you would say rather than say the whole thing up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And both uh, Nine Bark Outfitters and Mohammed Essan Saeed say that SOS stands for Save Our Souls. Oh, Today okay. I yeah, I don't think I ever knew that. <laughs> I didn't either. Yeah. Uh, now we've only got three squares left, so we're going to solve those, you and I, and sure. then we're going to reopen the puzzle just to talk a little bit about the theme. Sure. Ooh. Does needlework sews right welsh john what is john in welsh i don't know let's go down to yeah designer wang vera wang vera right now let's look at 14 a mess of a mistake oh a snafu there you go and evan is <laughs> Evan is the Welsh form of John. Really? I had no Apparently. idea. Okay. So, you know, how, how do you feel? I feel great. This is, this perked me right up. I, I didn't even have any coffee today and I don't need it. Oh, my <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry I asked you. you <laughs> I hope I didn't uh, raise your blood pressure too no, much. No, no, this was lovely. <laughs> well, did you have fun? I had a ton of fun, yeah. Oh, that's I, great. I will also give a quick follow up that my husband texted me saying that he does promise to take me to an opera. So, oh, yes. <laughs> oh that's wonderful. That's going to make Valeria Silvestri very happy. <laughs> um, I hope I hope she's so happy she shares her dinner with us. But just very briefly, um, we have some really famous catchphrases from TV shows: Siskel and Ebert, Two Thumbs Up, No Soup for You from Seinfeld. <laughs> Just one more thing from uh, Columbo and How Sweet It Is from the Jackie Gleason Show. And, uh, oh, one more at 61 Down. Who wants to be a millionaire catchphrase? Final answer. Wow. And uh, listen, we entertained Valeria until her fish was ready. So she's going to go have Perfect. dinner now. <laughs> and, um, you know, we, I think you and I have to get back to work at some point. Yeah, yeah. But, um, I got some code that needs pushing. So. <laughs> there you go. And I'm, but I'm really glad that you took the time to solve with me today. This was fun. Thank you. This was so fun. Yeah, come back anytime. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I just wanted to uh, reiterate, Sid Sivakumar mentioned that the Play at Home puzzles for Lollapazula are still available and that website is bemoresmarter.com, all one word. Uh, if you go to bemoresmarter.com, you can purchase the puzzles from Lollapazula and do them. Uh, they This was a virtual tournament, so everybody played mm -hmm. at home, but uh, you, the puzzles are available for purchase. Um, once again, thank you to my colleague, Gorn Spork and Marola for uh, solving with me today. I just wanted to wish you all a very happy Monday. This is Deb Amlin for the New York Times. Happy solving.